What's up, y'all? Hey, today, guys. Today, we want to do a video on how to... It's tips for having a successful donation. Yes. Um, as long as we can, we're going to always try to help people conceive. Because we were able to do it, and it's such a blessing to us. Yeah. You can see we got our little man here. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm going to put this over here with the paper. Um, number one, I would say try to eat healthier. Like, more fruits and vegetables. Yes. That's everything she did. Like she wasn't playing no games. Yeah, I ate time. salad until I was completely, absolutely sick of it. When I say sick of it, like I mean sick of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She wasn't trying to have no more salad. She was yes, and that was even after I conceived too. I actually continued, she continued. to eat yep. the fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like smoothies and all oh, that. Yeah. It's, yeah, a lot of green. I would say a lot of green for yeah. sure. Get as healthy sure. as you can get. Yeah, you know, we, I mean, stay away from the junk food. Yeah, yeah. That's hard to do. I know. But we, I did, especially because we wanted to see the boy. I did like a lot of bananas and stuff like that. They did say bananas for the yeah. boy. They did say bananas so for the boy. Bananas, so I was blue in the face. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then another one be avoid stress or try to at least limit it. Like me personally, I had to completely switch jobs. Yeah. Her job. Her job actually gave her anxiety. Yeah. You know what I mean? To where she had to start taking medicine for anxiety. That's how bad it was because. She's work for Amazon, mm -hmm. so delivering for them. Like yeah, so you're worried about uh, number one, you're starting off with like 200 fucking packages or mm -hmm. stops, or and you're worried about getting hit by a car, people speed, and nobody mm -hmm. gives a fuck. Like you worry about all that, so she de definitely developed anxiety yeah. from working at that job. So thank God she was able to switch jobs to a more lax, uh, lax job. You know what I mean? And then help with her stress level because we had tried it twice when she was at Amazon and. She wasn't successful. You know what I mean? We wasn't successful. And yeah. Once I switched jobs to an easier. Yep, you get pregnant. Job, easier job. We actually got pregnant. Yeah. The first time trying with exactly. an easier job. Yep. Okay. Let's see, number three, try to track your cycle for a couple months before receiving your donation. Yeah. Make sure, like, you want to track it for a couple months because <clears throat> you might start on this this day, this month, and then another day, this month, like your 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 cycle might change. Like especially for people who have irregular cycles, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. You want to make sure, just keep keep a pattern of it. You know what I mean. Is it going to be this many many days apart this this month, and then this many days apart the next month? Right. You know what I mean. So try to keep track of it for a couple months. Try not to hurry up and rush into. It. We kind of rushed into it a little bit. So we yeah, I think that's why it took us three times because we. We got, we was like, okay, we want to be able to do it now. Yeah, so. yeah. We're some now people. We try yeah. to do it now, but yeah. the best advice I would say is to try to try it for a couple months. Yeah. I'd say at least three, three months, maybe, you think? What do you think? Yeah, well, yeah, well, two to three, three months. Two, three. So it took us three, three months to get see, but we, we didn't do the tracking ahead of time and kind of just jumped into it. So yeah, I would say probably about two months. About two months? Yeah, about two months. About two months. At least a month at a minimum, because I know when we ready to have babies, we ready to have them babies. We ready to have them right now, so... <laughs> So at least try to track a month just to see kind of where you stand and try to get um when you're high, your days that you're high, and when you peak, like is it day 12, is it day 14, some women don't do it to like day 18, mm -hmm. so just kind of see where you're at to, exactly. to start. Yep. See where we at. What you say? Limit caffeine. Yeah, try to limit caffeine. I'm a huge coffee drinker and I literally stopped drinking coffee completely. She stopped everything. Everything. I wanted to have this baby with my whole heart. Uh, I did. And we got him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I I did everything to the freaking book. And I know it, it's hard. It is hard. It is so hard. But me, I'm a determined person. When I want something, I'm going to get it. Yep. So that that's that's one thing about me. Is I knew I had to eat healthier and, and do this and do that. And, you know, just kind of do my due diligence as far as like being on the healthier side of trying to conceive. Alright. What else? Alright, ask your doctor to run tests to see if you can even have kids. Um, you don't want to keep trying to, over and over to have kids thinking something wrong with you, but you want to find out from jump, like, it's something wrong. You don't like to work, y'all. Mm -hmm. His cry so cute. It is so cute. Don't fight us, but it'll 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 burp. Yeah. Um. So as far as like you said, test, right? Yeah. So um, 
we tried to PC the first time and obviously didn't work, but like I said, we kind of really just jumped right into mm -hmm. it. So after that first time, we uh, got tested. Right? Yeah, we got tested because I'm like, why didn't I get pregnant? Like, I should be super fertile. Yeah. Um, so I did go to the doctor's, my regular PCP, mm -hmm. and um, got um, test ran for um, just to make sure that I could conceive, make sure everything was in working order. Yep. The test that I got done was... Go ahead it was me. the... The thyroid stimulating hormone, which is um, other known as TSH, yep. test uh, free thyroxine, which is known as a T4 test, uh, luteinizing hormone, which is known as the LH test, prolactin, the follicle stimulating hormone, which is known as the FSH. That's the test that her doctor ran on her. Yeah. My regular doctor. Everything came back completely normal, so I'm like, okay, green light, let's do Man, this. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> it was full throttle after that, because we knew everything was good. But I will say, we did go through two donors. Yeah, we did. We did go through two donors. And that's first, another thing, too. Yeah. Like, uh, you do want your donor sperm count, because you might be uh, getting inseminated by a donor, and like over and they over have again. Like low mo mobility or something. But this is something you don't know. I will say this is something that we did not get tested but it's something you can test as a recipient you will have to pay for that yeah. if you choose to yeah but i will say the first donor we kind of felt like um his sperm or his donation didn't look as good as we would we, it was more watery than more thick yeah as far as consistency wise so we kind of looked it up a little bit and realized that um, it may not be a good mobility, but he had successful donations too. Exactly. So we just, you know, chose to move on to a different donor. And then our last donor that we used, which we could see, we used him twice. The first time didn't work. Mm -hmm. So we was like, okay, let's try again. And um, there's other things in here that he did that we'll talk about um, that was able to give us a, more of a successful donation our second time with him, which had us conceive our son. Right. So. Let's see what else. Ask the donor to limit himself so he can give a bigger donation. This That's is what I was kind of talking about. The first time he did not. Yeah. And then the second time he was like, we're going to make this work. Yeah. So he told us that he limited himself. He made sure, because uh, he actually has a girlfriend, so he made yeah. sure he didn't. Withheld himself from having, you know, intercourse course with his girlfriend. Yeah. To give us a bigger donation. And we did every other day. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't do back to back. No. At all. We did. Which we, we did previous. Well, our previous donation we did do one day and then the next day but we kind of give my, me a break in between and did the day the day we got there took a break and then the day we left yep uh what else what else take prenatals to prepare your body for pregnancy mm -hmm. i took prenatals for probably about a well, month I, or two i think it was like three months oh yeah it might have been three months i did take them for a long time yeah i did take them for a long time uh before we started to try to conceive. Yeah, make sure your body's good, ready to go to get pregnant. Yeah. Uh, well, she took fish oil with, with CoQ10. Yeah, I took the fish oil pills. Because Around the same amount of time you was taking the prenatals, right? Yeah, because I don't eat fish and I know it's like healthy for you and it gives you like some um, more benefits and stuff. And the CoQ10 helps with the A quality, your A quality. Not saying anything was wrong with my A quality because obviously I got the test done and everything came back good. But it doesn't hurt to get a little support. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so I even took that as my whole pregnancy. The whole pregnancy I took the pre the same prenatals and the same fish oil with the COQ10 my whole pregnancy. Um, another one is take pre C if you feel like you need it. Now a lot of people are against pre C. Mm -hmm. They say I, it kills sperm. Yeah, so we and we tried three times to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. We got pregnant on our third try. Yeah. The first two times we did not take pre C yeah. and didn't get pregnant, but the third time we took it and we got pregnant. Yeah. So I mean it's a hit or miss for everybody. Yeah, you we're I mean? I mean we're firm believers that it worked. Yeah. Because obviously we got our little man here. Mm -hmm. He's two months old now. Yeah. So already. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> flies. It flies, guys. I'm telling you. Once these babies come out, like you blink and they're freaking two months old already. You okay, baby? Oh, yeah. yeah. You'd be chugging it down, y'all. <laughs> you can love me. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, like I said, like we said, it's up to you if you want to take it or not. I mean, it might work for you, it might not. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
Uh, that thing we tried was the clove war. Now this is something that she tried that she looked up and seen benefits in the club water. Yeah, the club water is completely disgusting. <laughs> that shit stinks. It, it's so it's bad. Stink. But um, I do have a video, if you look back at our previous videos, on how to make it and how to drink it and all that. But I do believe that it helped me also because that's the thing that I did on our third try too. Mm -hmm. Nigga, we didn't do that on the first No, so I don't know if it was the pre-seed, the club water, or just like everything in combination that actually helped us. Because like I said, all my tests came back fine. So you can be completely fine and still like not like you gotta your timing has to be like on point perfect. Be on point. <laughs> uh, try to inseminate when you're high window. Yeah, speaking of time. <laughs> yeah, so she's a, a fast peaker. Yeah, so when I hit my peak, I feel like I'm ovulating and my egg has already started traveling, which is too late to get the sperm in there. Yeah. So for for me, um, we did it on my high ovulation. So we was. Weirdly, I was high for five days, yeah, which that was, was actually different. fine because yeah. once I hit my peak, we was only two days, we had so many two days before I hit my peak, which is, for me, is my ovulation, like I said. Yeah. So I feel like we hit our timing perfect. So, well, obviously, we got our little man here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, that's all we got for you guys right now. Mm -hmm. um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If there's any other questions you get, drop them in the comments down below. And we'll be back for more in a little bit. And hit that notification bell, y'all. That way you know every time we drop a video. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back for more. Peace out, guys.